so you're writing movies and stuff, and um, you happen to love superheroes. Uh, what gives? Why haven't you written the great superhero DC movie yet? I don't know. And early on, you know, when all that um, interest came about uh, the play in New York, and then when they found out Denis was directing the film, I went down to LA and I had uh, basically carte blanche to any uh, agent in town that I wanted. Mm -hmm. I ended up signing with ICM, but I had all these meetings and everyone was so so thrilled and it was so great to meet them. But the other thing I started to really learn is that I was meeting a lot of writers in LA who were making you know, $120,000 a year writing a couple movies that never got made and they became very bitter, angry people. And I went, I'm not sure I want this. First of all, I don't drive. What the hell am I doing in LA, right? I always had to have someone with me to drive me places mm -hmm. to get there or the studio would get me a driver or whatever. When, uh, when I was there, but I don't drive. I'm not a sunshine guy. I'm not an LA kind of guy. I'm a New York, Toronto, Montreal, London kind of person. I didn't like the world that much. You know, it was lots of blah, 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 lots of blowing smoke up your ass. But I mean, I was lucky. I got a number of jobs early on because of that. Uh, like what? Sorry? Like what? Like what oh, I wrote about? a movie for Disney. Uh, Touchstone hired me to write a film. In fact, I was uh, rehearsing Poor Superman and they sent me a book called Beauty they wanted me to look at. I was re rehearsing Poor Superman in Edmonton and they wanted me to come in and pitch them what I wanted to do with the um, with a book. Hmm. So on my day off, which was the Sunday because we were in rehearsal, I got up like at four o'clock in the morning went to the Edmonton airport, flew from Edmonton to Salt Lake City, had a layover there, flew from Salt Lake City to LA, was picked up by a limo, was taken to Burbank where I went into the Touchstone Disney offices, went up in the elevator, walked into a boardroom full of people I had never seen before, pitched them the movie, which took 30 minutes, mm. they all applauded at the end, said thank you, and then I went out and did the exact same trip in reverse and got back to Edmonton like at five o'clock the next morning to start rehearsal at 10 the next day. Right. And they loved it and hired me. And I wrote the movie, never got made, but that happens a lot, you know. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I worked for, for a number of production companies doing various things. And that's, that's the trap in Los Angeles, I think, is that you can get into this writing and never producing thing where you can make a living, but nothing mm -hmm. is actually happening. You're just having meetings and giving notes and writing a lot. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to do that. I knew right away I did not want to do that. What advice do you have for the next young playwright who's got that hit play and they get uh, courted by movie people? What advice do you have for them? Ride it. Right. Ride it. Stick to your integrity as much as you can, but don't be afraid to sell out because you may not get this opportunity again. Mm -hmm. You know? Hopefully you'll write other stuff that will be equally as uh, desirable, but if it doesn't, go for this one. Whatever it's going to be, you can't control, as the writer, you can't control it. If you want to be the writer, producer, director, mm -hmm. you can control it. If you're going to be the writer, particularly in film and TV, mm -hmm. you can't control it and they're going to rewrite you. And I think the reason we're paid so well as writers in TV and film is because we give them the ability to rewrite what we're doing. Mm -hmm. That's the trade-off. But when I'm in the theater and I'm being paid badly for what I'm doing, you're not going to rewrite a thing. You're not going to rewrite a word. Thank you very much. <laughs> I am in total control whether you're the director or not. I am mm -hmm. the playwright. I am the seed from which all of this has sprung mm -hmm. and therefore deserve the respect to get what I want and what I've seen. Mm -hmm. And thank you very much for this dollar you're paying me. Yes, exactly.